Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. It's the storage compartment, which I did already in some of the other programs. And I use it for a 3D wireframe geometry exercise. But in Onshape there are only a few 3D curves. Those. So I can't really do it with 3D curves, so I will do it with 2D sketches. Let's take a look at the drawing. I will need to do the same curves which I did in the other programs but with 2D sketches. So if you want you can make a screenshot and then follow the exercise step by step. So let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, first let's create two planes. So one with a distance to this one here, to the right plane, and that distance should be 470 millimeter. Confirm. Add another one and that should have a distance to the top plane and that distance should be 240. And confirm. Now the first sketch should be on the right plane. So go for a sketch on that plane here. And this should be a line. It should start here. It should go over here. here. Maybe you could go for 80 and then go up from this point here like that put this point onto that plane coincident and add an angle between this plane and that one here and this should be five degrees now add a fillet of course you could do the fillet in 3d as well so that's the fillet, and that fillet should be 60 millimeter. Yes. And that's my first sketch. Now I want to make an extrude surface. So go for extrude. Yes, it's in surface. Select that sketch here and let it go up to that face or plane here and confirm. Now the next sketches will be on the front plane. In order to make it at least similar, a little bit similar to the other exercises, I want to use arcs and constrain it in a similar way. So that's not the best or the fastest way to do it, but it's a way. So let's go for a sketch on the front plane. And with 3D I used an arc, so I will use an arc here as well. So go for a three-point arc. Put that point on this one. Draw it like that and then like this. Add a radius and the radius should be 60 millimeter. Now to make it sort of tangent here, you can of course arrange... Where is it? There you go that center point with that point here. Okay. Then I need a tangent line or I could do it with two lines here. So let's go for a construction line which goes from this point here to that point and another one from this point to that point. And now we could add an angle and that angle would be 80 degrees. And it's just a way to do it. You don't have to do it like this. And then I will need a line which starts right there, goes up to that plane. So bring that point coincident onto that plane. Now we can add an angle from this one to that plane here. And that angle in this case should be 10 degrees. Of course you could have added here tangents as well. And that's not really necessary. But I wanted to do it as close or as similar as possible as in the other programs. Now leaflet sketch. I want to do another sketch on this plane. On that one. And again, I will have to use edges. 
or at least that point. Let's see if we can bring in that point, just that point. Yeah, it's possible. Then add another three point arc like this. Okay, that radius should be 50. And now again, I can use that vertical constraint to make there a sort of tangency. Now in this case, I need a line which goes there and then I would want to add tangency. Therefore, I need to bring in that point here of that line. So go to project to convert, and then go to the line from this point to that point, and then add tangency between this one and that one. And confirm. And now we can do our first loft surface. So, I don't want to use the sketch, but I want to use those edges here. So go for loft. Yes, it's a surface. We can add it to the already existing one. And you could use sketch 2. And then add one of those edges here. Click here click there. Now, oh sorry, I've... No, should be okay. I've got edge of extrude 1. That's okay. Now I can add hopefully this edge here. Yes. And then that edge here. So I've got the surface. Kind of hard to select. Okay, like that. Again the surface. That's ridiculous. So I want to use that edge. And that's the end profile and I want to go for match tangent. And confirm. Okay, same two sketches over here. And I will do it in a more efficient way. Okay. I will need a point, so I could project that point here, and that point, or the complete edge. Whatever you like. So, well, this edge and that edge, but I want to go for this one here. So, let's bring in that edge and first make a sketch. So, first sketch should be on the front plane here. I will need that point here, that one here down below. So go for use project and try to bring in that point. Okay. Then let's move it a little bit over here. You can go for a circle. Maybe like this and the radius should be 60. In this case, the diameter should be 120, if the radius is 60, yes. Now, I want to use a coincident constraint, so that point should be on that circle here. And, of course, this should be aligned. Then we need a line, which... is somewhere over here and we could try to snap the tangency. Seems okay. Now that point here should be coincident of course in that plane. Let's try to select it like this. Okay. Then add an angle between this one and you could go for that plane and that angle should be 30 degrees and now we should be able to trim it so go for trim and trim this looks okay leave that sketch now the next one should be on that plane on this one here Go for top. Again, I need a point. 
to go for the point here, this one, and I can do it again with a circle, and the diameter would be 100. Let's move it a little bit over here. Now again that point should be on that circle, and again those two points should be aligned vertically. Let's bring in that endpoint and draw a line from this point to that circle and try to snap the tangency. If not, now I've got it. Now we can trim again. And now we should be able to do our second loft surface. Okay. Let's go for loft, select, you could add it of course, select, that would be sketch 4, then add one of these edges, click here, click there, and try to add this edge here, and then the small one here, this one, okay. Nice. And again, it's this. We Oh, I forgot to use the guide here. Sorry, I will change that afterwards. So the end condition should be again match tangent. And I want to use a guide. So for guides, click here and select that guide here. Click here, click here, or I should have come for the complete sketch like this, and confirm. And I have to edit this loft here, and I want to add a guide as well. So go for guides, and this would be sketch number, where is it? It's hard to see, there you go. That's the one, and that should be sketch 3. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope it was helpful, hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Grabcat, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.